What's up, everybody? I want to tell you about Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, it's one of the easiest ways to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting Anchor on Anchor, you can distribute distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. So everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. So download Anchor, the app, or go to anchor.fm to get started. And you know, I'm a veteran, so let's hear some more military cadences. What's up, family? Let's get into some hot topics. And first, I'm going to start off with some football. So, week two of football. The Chiefs beat the Chargers 24 to 27. Chiefs win. Uh, The Patriots beat the Steelers 17 to 14. The Giants beat the Panthers 19 to 16. The Jets beat the Browns by one point, 31-30. Wow, the Jaguars had a really bad day. I mean, the Colts had a really bad day, 0-24. to The Dolphins beat the Ravens, 42-38. The Buccaneers beat the Saints, 20-10. The Lions beat the Commanders, 36-27. The 49ers beat the Seahawks, 27-7. The Rams beat the Falcons 31 to 27. The Cardinals beat the Raiders 29 to 23. The Broncos beat the Texans 16 to 9. The Cowboys beat the Bengals 20 to 17. And the Packers, with their first win of the season, beat the Bears 27 to 10. And then tomorrow, the Titans play the ten- the um, Bills and the Vikings and Eagles game. Let me see what's happening with that one. I can tell you, because I do play fantasy football, that I had benched Lamar Jackson, who scored like 52 points, which really sucks. And the Tampa Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense scored like 32 points, which I had them bench, which was also very terrible. I was not very happy with that. In that Arizona Arizona Cardinals and Raiders game, that was an overtime game. And Aaron Jones was the store, the story. He did really well tonight. David Montgomery as well. So let's get into what is trending. It is it's been a crazy news day on social media and twitter so let's get into it i will tell you guys i saw the woman king yesterday and it was very good very action-packed and i loved it so coming in number one is the house of dragon me and my husband watched it tonight it was a slow episode but and this is a spoiler so if you have not watched it or you watch it you know don't so he's still trying to marry off or stop don't listen so he's still trying to marry out off his daughter and what ended up happening was that she decided to go ahead and marry her cousin of course this is is an incestuous show and her cousin is gay and so the cousin had a lover and her name is ray nigra she and she had a guy she was cheating with, even though she hooked up with the uncle, kind of. They didn't like have sex. She ended up hooking up with her king's guard. 
And then she had like a little abortion tea after that. So she didn't get pregnant. The queen is all kind of mad because she's like, she ain't even a virgin. And her dad got sent away. The queen's dad got sent away for like trying to rat on her. Um, so then her little boyfriend, Rainier's boyfriend that she likes, killed the gay dudes, her gay cousin's boyfriend. I do not know why he killed him. I really don't understand that. Let me see what happened. What does Twitter say? Because I just want to know why this man killed him. Okay, so they're saying he asked Rhaenyra once and thought he had done so well that she should give up her crown and birthright. Yeah, so the little her little side piece was mad. She didn't give up her crown and birthright. And so I still don't know why he killed her gay cousin's boyfriend. Um, Rhaenyra and her uncle were still flirting her little thing. This show is very messy, y'all. And uncle had a wife. He killed his wife, too. This show is very, like, Jerry Springer-ish, for, for real. Um, yeah. And then Rhaenyra is asking her uncle to interfere in her wedding and take her to Dragonstone to make her his bride. Like, the show's built on incest. I'll never get used to this stuff. I'm just only here for dragons and killing. So, that's that. The show was very, like I said, Jerry Springerish. So, let's move on to the next story. Um, there's a new rush hour, I guess, coming. So, if, with Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan, I don't know if it'll be the same ones. Um, tonight on 60 Minutes, Taiwan was trending. President Biden told 60 Minutes that the U.S. men and women would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion. However, after our interview, a White House official told us that policy on Taiwan has not changed. Let's see what Biden's saying. Questions about their independence. We are. What should. Chinese President Xi know about your commitment to Taiwan. We agree with what we signed on to a long time ago and that there's a one China policy and Taiwan makes their own judgments about their independence. We are not moving. We're not encouraging their being independent. We're not let that's their decision. But would U.S. forces defend the island? Yes, if in fact there was an unprecedented attack. After our interview, a White House official told us U.S. policy has not changed. Officially, the U.S. will not say whether American forces would defend Taiwan. But the commander-in-chief had a view of his own. So unlike Ukraine, to be clear, sir, U.S. forces, U.S. men and women would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion. Yes. What should... I think Biden obviously was not briefed on that before he said that. So they walked it back very fast. So what are people saying about this? After Putin's invasion of Ukraine, everyone is worse off. Most certainly Ukrainians, but also Russians and the West. I hope G, President V, learns that lesson about any invasion plans of Taiwan. Everyone, PRC, Taiwan, the rest of the world will be worse off. I agree. There is no wiggle room in this statement on 60 Minutes. President Biden was asked. Yeah, Biden has to get be a little careful about that because, yeah, we already know that China, they own, they own a lot of stuff here, so... Yeah, he's going to get, that'll be a thing with, I'm sure, people alluding to his age and everything like that. But yeah, I don't know if he was in that. But in, in other news in Taiwan, a 7.2 magnitude earthquake strike struck to Taiwan. And if you're a conspiracy theorist, you might think that was man-made by China. I'm just saying allegedly in the conspiracy world all right if you are into reality shows married to medicine aired tonight there was more a little fighting amongst the doctors and anila's house got burglarized sister wives i have not watched this show in so long like so long i can't even believe it's still on air 
but Christine wants to move, leave the state and leave Cody. And yeah, I haven't watched this show since he married Robin, but yeah, people still are invested in this. Um, Puerto Rico, Hurricane Fiona has made landfall in Puerto Rico. So it is just a category one for right now. For some reason, Amber Alert is trending um, in Oregon. Says people are getting complaining about Amber Alert for a missing child in Oregon. I guess they don't like Amber Alerts for some reason. Um, wow, Sammy Watkins. For 55 yards and I just dropped him as a player see this is my look of how my fantasy football is going I'm 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 over this let's get to some ratchet social media news let's see what's going on here oh uh, Let's see here. So this is a debate. When my male friends get into a relationship, I really alter the relationship, the friendship dynamic. I do it because I love and respect my friend and respect their partner too. I hate to be the friend that makes this lady feel weird and or secure for no reason. I text and call us too. I know they know they're my boys and I don't need to prove anything. I don't need your girlfriend to know that I know what your favorite food is. She's just getting to know you, me sharing things like that with her is malicious in my eyes, very nasty business. I agree with this um, because it is a fine line. I'm a woman, I know how that feels. And I've had guys that I was friends with, but they're girls for things they have done did not like them being friends with me. And I got it. I mean, it sucks because yes, you have to alter your relationship and you hope that after they get secure in their relationship, maybe you can come back around. But eh, let's see. Some people say the girls that get it, get it. Some people said a lot of people agree with this. And yeah. This one said, this kind of makes me feel bad. I literally don't know any of male, of male friends' favorite food. Yeah. Some women don't agree with it, but yeah. Some girls are just childish. And why would you want to be arguing? So this bishop, the one that got his jewelry stolen, is back in the news again because he allegedly attacked one of his members. So... Let's hear this. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. Now let's give Jesus a round of applause. Why they take pictures and they want to be on social media. Take the pictures. 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 So he literally got arrested for pretty much manhandling one of his members and it's on all over social media. Let's get into what he said. Arrested me. Not only did they arrest me, um, but when they put me in the police car, they injured my wrist. However, um, when he got me to the precinct, they put me in a cell. And then after um, an hour or so, the higher ups, once they found out who was there, um, came in and started to do some research or whatever they did, and um, all of the charges was dropped on me. But you don't get to arrest me for no reason. I'm going to protect my family. No one is going to come at my family, and no one is going to hurt my family ever again. I have to protect my family. I have to protect my church. They made a grave update. Um, yes, I was arrested, but I was released and all the charges were dropped um, or they called it um, voided out, whatever they want to call it. Um, so if I did do something, why am I not still there? Right. Let's use logic. Let's use logic. And she's still there. Amen. 
So I just need y'all to get that understanding. I'm not scared of y'all and I'm not scared to be in my church. And I'm going to continue to be in my church. But one of the things that you're not going to do is come inside of my church and do what you want to do. That's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. I just want to give you guys an update. Um, yes, I was arrested, but I was released and all. I never heard of anybody like being arrested and charges dropped that fast. He is still wearing his jewelry. Um, let's see what people say. Some people said, let me know when he steps down, please. I don't want to hear nothing else from him. Somebody said, just shut the whole church down. They said they should have kept him there. At this point, reset. Um, yeah, everybody is just over this pastor. And I can't believe people still go to his church. Uh, but they do. I think they must be going for the fame because it pretty much is making him very angry. Um, if you guys are into the WNBA, the Las Vegas Aces won their first championship. Post Malone fell in St. Louis, um, but he did not break his ribs, but he did injure himself, which really sucks because, like, I know those tickets are not cheap. So I don't know if you guys know who August Alcina is. But he was J Jada Pinkett's um, alleged boo that she was, like, having, um, what did they call it? I can't even call it. It was a thing that she said it was, like, a, I can't even think of it. But she's had a situation with this dude. And her and Will talked about it on the Red Table Talk, blah, blah, blah. Well, August Alcina got into it with Tory Lanez and Tory Lanez is allegedly the guy that shot the rapper Bang the Stallion in the foot. So August Alcina, um, this is what he says that he was attacked by a leprechaun, which I thought was pretty funny. I'm going to read his story here. I just still can't get over this bishop. So he says, as I'm exiting the building after the show last night, a four foot 11 size leprechaun ran down on me with eight oversized security guards, whom I greeted each individually upon their walk up as they tried to press me. Whole time I'm one deep, no security. Tori continues to ask with a broken ego why I didn't dap him up. I go to tell him I was a fan of him and didn't understand him speaking on my business publicly in the past because I don't know him or ever met him until last night. So when he spoke, it called me off guard because of his past actions. I assumed he didn't like me. That's all. Not to mention with my history of health and condition just recently overcoming being paralyzed, my doctor directed me not to compromise my health while out on the road and shake as less hands as possible due to corona and monkeypox. Never any disrespectful words were exchanged, so I was a bit confused as someone how he turned himself up with anger after hitting a blunt lace with cocaine. Obviously, I heard the fizzle, and he snuck me when I turned my head to move to the side amongst all his angsty moving and to keep an eye on the endless dudes that was with him surrounding me which was security and somebody with a gun tuck, whom he proceeded to run behind and hide and run back to the building. There was never a fight, simply an assault. Dude has no real friends and it's an on a crash out mission. mission. With that said, I was going to keep it G and not come to the net, but you moving with foul intent, feeding false, false lies to blogs to look for a moment because the moments ain't happening on stage for you. I will assist you in that gracefully. These people got a whole thing on camera. Put the footage out. I'd like to see it anyway. Let me go clean this blood off my face with some Encina, Encina wellness. So not only is he got like a bloody face and everything, he's also promoting his skincare. Don't you just love like the, the era we live in where people just get beat up, promote their skincare, like, it's completely the twilight zone. Um, down in Texas, Governor Ad Abbott sends a bus of 50 migrants to Kamala Harris's home 
This is according to ABC News. Texas Governor Greg Abbott sent a bus of 50 migrants to Kamala Harris's home. This comes only two days after the Republican government sent two buses to her naval observatory home. The migrants are mostly from Venezuela, and there was a newborn among the group. Abbott is just one Republican governor sending migrants to Democratic cities. They have described their action as a form of protest against the Biden administration's boarding border policies. Many Republicans have applauded the move, arguing Biden administration should do more to secure the border. Um, yeah. Aretha Franklin's Respect tops Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest List of All Times. Second was Public Enemy Fight the Power. Um, six was Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. Missy Elliott's Get Your Freak On was eight. And Outcast Hey, I was ten. I mean, yes, put Aretha on top. I'm surprised Whitney was not in the top ten. Yeah, that is your news for tonight, people. Um, we still live in a crazy world out here. If there is something interesting to talk about tomorrow, I will definitely be bringing it to you. But for now, you guys stay safe. As for family, signing off. And this has been your evening news.